What's going on guys? Chad back with you here on the RC Models and More channel. And today I've been messing around, doing yard work and all that stuff, but uh, the big brown truck showed up with a couple adapters for my DJI goggles that I wanted to try out to see if there's any way to get them to work concurrently with a smart device so in short the answer is no uh, basically if you have the standard module that it come that the, the phantom 4 comes with you will only be able to use the menus and the goggles by themselves hooked up to the regular port and you'll have to do all your camera controls and everything like that through the goggles. Now, the same thing goes with the special um, HDMI port. The difference is, is that you can use an HDMI cable in conjunction to get the live view output, which is basically just like a live standard output with some telemetry and such. Um, you can't use any of the advanced functions in the goggles or anything at all. Um, I tried with this one which also has another micro USB port and the original I put back in uh, for the time being and it only works the same way. So basically, without a Mavic and OcuSync, um, you can't use a smart device at the same time as the goggles, which eventually I would like to get into using the goggles all the time anyway, but I like having access to both uh, just because it's a lot easier to navigate the 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 app on the smart device right now as compared to navigating through on the goggles it's not impossible it's just you know not as not as fun plus uh, you can't share your experience with other people so you basically would have to put the got um, you, you would have to put the goggles on them and just fly line of sight versus with the Mavic using a smart device and then wireless goggles anybody can wear the goggles and I can fly around with the Mavic and they can enjoy uh, what's going on so I've tried different you know I've tried all the different cables and connections and stuff and I have uh, you know went through the manual and verified that as well um, but some people might not be aware so I just wanted to throw that out there that if you have a standard Phantom 4, Phantom 4 Pro, or whatever, anything that does not come with the HDMI module in order to use the live view and the app at the same time, you have to use that HDMI module. Now remember, again, this is a live view only, so your app will be running everything and you'll get just a live view out on your goggles or you can get rid of the smart device in general just plug in the goggles to your normal port and you can control and see all functions of the Phantom 4 or Phantom 4 Pro with the goggles and the menu so that's uh, pretty much it I just wanted to confirm that before I actually put a video up and try the different modules and everything but I needed a couple different uh, little USB to micro USB connectors just to double check. And now I've double checked and uh, it is what it is. I guess I'll probably be flying my Mavic a lot more these days. Which I pretty much fly my Mavic more anyway. But that's it guys. Just wanted to confirm all that for myself and for you. If you have any questions, let me know. If you have any other workarounds, let me know but it looks like you are stuck with either goggles or smart device in live view, which still isn't a bad thing. Talk to you guys later.